Goth Vlog episode 98. As we continue to travel around Dublin with just a few clubs, we ended up over at Castle Golf Club, where there's a full championship 18-hole golf course. But unfortunately, we only looked at the seventh hole one. Taking public transportation and sneaking out on a golf course, sometimes it's rough to take a tee time. So we decided not to book the tee time, looked like there were some available, and called for a taxi to get over to this great golf course. It was recommended the outside of this golf course pulling in is pretty welcoming, but you can miss it very quickly. It's got pretty unique clubhouse uh, that's very open, but also pretty small. So we decided to walk in and see if we can get a tee time. How are you? Let's see if there's any availabilities for one golf. Uh, 12.40 on the main course. Okay. Uh, we've got a seven hole course um, for 12.10 if you want to go earlier. It's five par fours, two par threes on it. Uh, what's the price difference? Uh, so it's 12.50 for the seven hole and it's 35 euros for the main it's course. Of the seven whole golf course we're still going to talk mostly about that championship golf course of the 18 holes we would have loved to play that but we got to sneak out and play what we can now the 18 hole golf course is considered to be a top 100 golf course in ireland year in and year out and simply a must play for all golfers picturesque backdrops of the dublin mountains but also just 10 minutes away from m5 and seven and N4 major routes going in and out of Dublin. Of course, also provides amenities for all golfers and truly a great opportunity and experience to play in the Dublin area. The facility opened in 1998 and is owned by South Dublin County Council and managed since 2014 by Trinity Golf. The professional golf course management specialist an 18 hole championship course additionally the seven holes was created shortly after being built at major events like the special olympics pro-am event which was held here not too long ago again it's considered a top 100 golf course in ireland which is pretty legit for those type of public golf courses and it's an ace course for the most part it's considered a parkland style course that stretches 6,170 meters. It also is listed as a par 72. The course was designed by golf architect Patrick Merrigan, and you can see right off the bat, the tee boxes and the fairways are pretty open and you can get away with spraying the ball on some of the holes. You're gonna get a good bang for your buck at this golf course if you can get a tee time. It typically gets pretty busy there and that's why we opted for the seven hole golf course here now the seventh hole golf seven hole golf course is considered to be open for amateurs and beginners of course from what the locals that i ended up playing with recommended that it doesn't really give it justice to that championship course that's here and that we're going to put that into consideration because we're going to give the golf facility the score of and ask it if it's worth it and then a one out of ten and walking through the course, it's a good experience just to get out here and have fun. If you happen to take a train into Dublin, you want to play some cheap golf, this might be one of the courses for you. There's a few options around the area just in case there's no tee times. But outside Dublin, you can get pretty busy on a Saturday and Sunday. You got to take what you can. Green fees for this golf course are extremely reasonable. The midday rate for standard green fees for non-members is 25 euros for that championship golf course. On the weekdays, it does move up to 35 euros. It's still a great deal. The seven-hole golf course, what we played, just 12, 50 euros, and it's well worth it just to get you started. And that's even on the weekends too. So that's a good rate. And just to kind of go through, if you want a golf cart, it's going to be 25 euros. Electric cart, 12 euros. Pull cart, four euros. So the price is right there. You get that memberships at this golf course. A seven-day full membership, as high as it gets, is only 1,180 euros. That's pretty reasonable. Now, if you want to just do kind of a seven-day pay and play, it drops down significantly to 530 euros. 880 euros is another membership. A five-day membership at 430 euros. 
Um, this is annual, so it's pretty reasonable. Again, there's fees associated with that when you go out and play. It looked like it was 15 euros each time you play, so you do get a discount on your rate. But for 25 euros to play this course, it's very reasonable. And other courses inside the area, it might be worth it to try to look at this one, play it once, and play other golf courses. But in regards to a score on this course, we're going to give it a 7.2. I think that's a fair score. We didn't get out there and play the other course. But well over a 7 is a good score on this channel. And most importantly, a shout out to our friends that we played with that gave us good information on where to go. And most importantly, where not to go in regards to decent, fun, budget golf. And that's what we're looking for on this channel. And we're not sure if Grant castle was able to do that for us but for 1250 euros just for one of the golf courses there it felt like the best deal now when you look at it on golf now and other rates it's over a 4.3 out of a five so that's pretty average getting around 50 to 60 views on each one if we were to move over to the handy and dandy google to kind of see where that golf course would list out of one to five it's going to be still sitting over at a four. 4.3 on Goff now. And just pulling up other stats here. You could see all, right off the bat that this course is still a solid four. Played this golf course or looking forward to playing it. Let us know down in the comment section below if we got it right. Out of a 7.2 out of a 10. Now granted. Being from another country, it's easy to give these golf courses a high score, but not one single trash throughout the golf course I could find. Tee boxes were in legit shape, and for the most part, the experience all in all was a great time. Even the people we played with, shout out to them. Most importantly, subscribe down below for more videos to come. As we walk out, keep a lookout for golf balls as we continue to rain uh, go fly on the golf balls throughout launch control this is Houston we are go for launch